Alrighty, so today we're playing a Sun and Moon to the Lost Thunder game. Sun and Moon to the Lost Thunder is playing with the Sun and Moon rule set, meaning you can play a supporter on your first turn of the game, but you cannot attack. I am playing Zoro Desi Tales on my side. Oh, I just hit the camera. Bruh, and he is playing Gardevoir GX. There's a few proxies in the Gardevoir GX deck, as I'm still working on it, so don't mind those. Right. We all have the cards on the side of the screen. If you want to read what they do, I have them pop up every time we use them. So uh, look at the side of the screen. Sometimes when you don't use them. Yeah, sometimes I just pop them up if we mention it in the conversation. I'll pop it up, but that's yeah. rare. All right, call the coin flip. Go Tails. It is nice. Tails. I will go first. Yep. Now these are two meta decks. Our last Sunlot games were a little more one-sided because I just kind of set up very fast with Zoro Desi Tails against a deck that needs me to set up a little bit slower. Hopefully this two meta decks can get a little bit of a more back and forth game. Yeah, I think uh, I think the problem with uh, Malamar is that it's a bit slower compared to. Uh, yeah, you just need like videos. a turn extra to set up. Then if I got every game, I got turn one <clears throat> uh, lecture, then turn yeah. two Zoroark. So get my six prizes out. And uh, yeah, I'm going first. So the Sogaleos in that deck, it takes away all of your weaknesses. If I can get it out, that is. Yep. So I'm not get a card in hand. I'm going to <coughs> Ultra Ball. So mean. Ultra Ball away. I should have started Volpix, but I can't attack, so I was like, that's eh, not a big deal. Yeah. If you're going second, that'd be Ultra Ball away, Timer Ball, and Enhanced Hammer. Oh, wow. Please don't be prized. But Lele, hello. There you go. Have the Lele use its, its ability to search my deck for a supporter. Grabbing. Professor Elm's Lecture. No. Really? I need cards. That, oh, Simpu? Where is it? Did I prize that too? Simpia or Lily? Lily's prized. Alright, I don't remember if I play Lily, but I think I do. I, I guess think. we do have to Elm's Lecture. Uh, That's a grabbing shame. Rowlet and. Probably the next I don't, I thought I think this deck plays one Lily. No. I think it does, yeah. Because um, I remember you used it last time, if I remember correctly. No, I didn't use it last time. It might not play Lily then, and I might just be hallucinating. Maybe we'll just grab Zoroa and Rowlet and hope I don't get too punished. I hear that you're not getting punished my first turn, no way. I mean, yeah, you didn't get your ideal starter either. You'd love to start like a Lowland Vulpix and Beacon, as would I. And then we'll bench Rowlet, put uh, Zoroa to hand. Actually, I just gonna grab a third guy. It's dumb not to. Yeah, might as well. Let me Fine. grab. I don't think that there's any reason not to grab a second Rowlet, even yeah. if I just trade it away. Yeah. No, I guess it does sort of suck that you have to have Lele, because you'd like to have two nine tail or one nine tails and two Lele. Not two uh, Lele. I was one hoping Lele. for an out, but sadly there was not one to be had. So I'm searching a Rowlet off of that home lecture, so I got three instead of two, and then we'll pass. Alright. Oh, uh, well. So if I would uh, I thought I had Lily to use there. I would, probably wouldn't have played in Tapu Lily if I knew that, but whatever. I will also use Owner's Lecture. What is he lecturing about? What class are you taking? Um, Combinatorics. I see. It's a prank, bro! Just a Remember prank. that from like 2016? Good times. Probably like 2015, dude. Go. Uh, disconnects life support. It's a prank, bro. It's a prank, bro. I, I, I used to mess those videos. They were so bad. Yeah, like ironically funny. Yeah, now it's just everything's like legitimately horrific and terrible. Uh, that's definitely the optimal three to get down. Yeah, it sucks that probably Cosmo is going to be sacked next turn. You I don't know. need Sogaleo in this matchup that much. It does have a good DC attack, which is really good, but like. Mm. Um. 
Yeah. It, it doesn't. You don't. You don't have weakness in this matchup. That's relevant. So. Um. I suppose we will just pass. No energy. Okay. I have an energy, but it's not the one you want to use. At least with Cosmo. Super boost. Yeah. Can't I was waste. thinking, like, what's the one they don't want to use? That would be it. Or, yeah, super boost energy on a Cosmo. It's probably I'm going to evolve into Zoroark GX. Yep, that was correct. I'm going to sense. trade away Zorua. Okay. Shame. I love the Hidden Fates prints. They're so nice. Oh, this hand is so bad. <clears throat> Can't be that bad. Uh, sure, it's pretty bad. Ultra Ball away, double Rowlet. Oof. And is that bad? Surely got something. Probably second Lele, which is bad too. Oh, I see. So we're just going to grab Decidueye. This is not what you want to be doing here. Does this deck play rare candy? Ideally, I guess I should have, instead of evolving, I could have attached and retreated and beaconed, but I don't think it's particularly, this play is terrible either. Eh, I feel pretty bad about it now, actually, that I didn't hit off of that trade, but. Mm. Feather Arrow, the Mudkip. It does play rare candy. Uh, it's a deck playing, like, two sep three separate stage two lines. <laughs> um, <clears throat> attach. And Feather, yeah, I did Feather Arrow, and then yeah. I just pass. Right. Probably the worst shot I've had is Zara Dusty Tails. That is pretty bad. Uh, Rising second, Lele biting me really bad, too. The question is, uh, it's probably safer to just evolve. I have Smoke yep. Bird in hand, Dang. but I was hoping I could get a rare candy. I was uh, hoping to kill that before you get it out. Yeah. Hopefully get something here. So I was hoping to nerf your draw and then judge you and then stick it. Hopefully I get something. I have no cards in hand. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a yikes, bro. Uh, I mean, I Ultra Ball for Lele thinking I had Lele, so that's a misplay, but I didn't. I mean, you, can, you couldn't have known unless you used like, I mean, I think, it before you No, I, I just don't think I play Lele in this deck. I think I'm confusing it for that deck, which does have a copy of Lele. But I swear this deck has one Lele. Yeah, I thought it did too. I swear it did. Might be wrong. That's not bad. That's not bad. If I'm going to pull Lele off the prize, I'm going to be sad. Well, at least I'm starting to get better at shuffling. Mm -hmm. You still got a long way to go. Not that I'm the sh world's best shuffler. I don't riffle my cards because I care about them, but... Well, I don't... Well, I've tried to do it like you Hell? Are. Gotcha. That's not bad. Ideally, last time I also misplayed because I should have just retreated to Beacon and say I'm not going to get DC, you know, but... Dang, that's scary. Gardevoir GX hits the field. Um... It is a proxy. Sorry, folks. I don't have um, unlimited money to buy every card immediately. Hmm. I think that's probably correct. I'm going to. I guess this deck doesn't play special charge, so I don't want to waste no, my DCEs. Not special charge. If you're just like thinking like retreat the Cosmog with a DC, that's you're thinking wrong. Don't do that. Okay. Well, I'll use uh, Secret Spring to attach and retreat. Yep. Because you can get those back. Uh, at all. I mean, to be fair, you can get every card back with Twilight GX, but that's using your. GX attack, and you have better ones. Uh, I would use Beacon. Actually, there is a really good GX attack on Sogaleo. So yeah, saving Cosmon's not bad. I'm going to draw for turn. That's actually a good card to discard, if nothing else. Brooklet Hill. Brooklet Hill finds Vulpix. <clears throat> Putting that to hand, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Swampert and that. That's terrible. I don't like that. I thought you said it's a terrible choice. Isn't no, it? I'm, I'm like, I don't want Swampert out. Yeah. It is a little bit weird. Hill grabs that. Trade away Decidueye to draw two. Oh, my lord. I, I drew one of the cards I drew. Oh. <laughs> uh, judge. That's not bad. That's a shame. Getting rid of your beacon, at least. Hopefully drawing into an energy and another Zoroark off of this judge. I guess I'm kind of glad I probably didn't... I was going to go grab Nine Tails, but I was like, oh, he's probably going to have Sun out. So I'm just gonna to KO Volpix. Yeah, yeah. I need to find an energy, which isn't difficult. Hopefully, I can get a rare candy or Swampert. Or one hopefully, one. you don't get Swampert. That's what I'm hoping. Maybe. Yeah. Stop maybe doing I... me like this. Stop doing me like this game. No energy. 
No energy. Really? Ultra Ball away. This feels terrible. Mallow Guzma. Ooh. I like that's not a bad one. I don't know if they discard the whole hand anyway. I guess there's no reason I'm like, ooh, what do I discard? And this deck plays like four DCs, <clears throat> two rainbows. Um and then two fairies. Okay, prized fairy, prized DC, I think. Zoroark. Okay. Have to go for the second trade. I definitely misplayed not going into Beacon, but did not think things would get this bad. Yeah, it's hard to, almost hard to tell. Discarded so many cards. Yeah, your discard colors have been kind of big for Cut like all three. of my basics out of my deck already. Yeah, I'm like Mellow Guzma. And then trade away Cynthia. Oh. Oh, man. I would have saved Pat Post editing here, the reason I went so aggressive on my resources destroying everything is because Zoric is a deck that has to go ahead in this matchup because it's very unfavorable if Gardevoir GX sets up. It's almost unwinnable if they get Sogaleo and two Gardevoirs in play. So, uh, yeah, you have to win within like five. To Trade away. I should probably just support her first. Yeah. Band on benched Zoroark. Sorry if I'm playing like a mess, I'm also just drawing nothing, but. Cynthia, how is my deck this small already? I haven't done anything. Oh my lord. My discard pile is like half of my resources, but I haven't even mm. attacked yet. I'm down like half of my supporters, but I've only used two. I mean, you did discard Cynthia. I would have Personally, I would have saved that, but you never know. It's just saving it for next turn, though, is the thing. So, like, I yeah. just... I, I guess get it, but like, yeah, I, get it, I, get I it. really need to like make a move there. Yeah, you I'm, need to, I'm really something. far behind. I mean, you still might win this game. So. If you get set up as fast as you're going right now, and I'm not able to stop anything, that's too late for this deck. So this deck has to three hit KO Gardevoir. Mm. Um, did find an energy, but I don't like it necessarily. I have to play it. DC or... I forgot to Feather Arrow last turn. Whoops. It's okay. That's actually really relevant because I need Swampert out of play. Feather Arrow Ditto. Okay. Probably doesn't mean anything, but we'll do it. I don't see a way that I win this game, but we're going to play it out. DC. There you go. Yeah. I don't have any trade discards, though. My All of my hand is cards I cannot afford to discard. <clears throat> Alright. Ride is beating for a KO. There is one of the prizes that I wanted a while ago. <laughs> These prizes are horrific. Actually, the two at KO, I have choice banned, so it's not a three at KO if I can at least get that. Yeah, no. That is exactly what I didn't want to see. Though you got the beacon, so never mind, I knew you had that. Um, I will also. Top of Lele. Yep. Let's see, what do I have here? If I, I did, if I actually did prize Lily, I'm going to be really sad. Release the, uh... Uh, we'll just go for Cynthia and use yep. it. I would have liked to uh, be able to grab something, but shame I didn't. Maybe I'll find it. I should be able to find it with discarding three with with the hand of six. I should be able to sack something here. Should be able to at least find an evolution for the Ditto if that doesn't get KO'd. Hoping yeah. to just Blitzkrieg you at this point. Do that do be a reference to history. Yeah. Well played. I kind of need to though, because I'm okay. not in a good spot. You never want two hundred chances to roll. I'm gonna go like that. Yep, that's terrible. Use the building. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what. I'm guessing is. rare candy timer ball would be the play. Rare candy ultra ball to get Sogaleo out. This is quickly slipping from me. Not that I ever had much, but choice band and choice band's an interesting choice. Because I also get punished by attaching extra energy to Zoroark. Like, drawing DC was the worst one I could have drawn there, sadly. And rare candy? Yep. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All my Federer's are being neutered by early evolutions. This is bad. Do you have any Sogaleo in hand? Uh, I can get him. That is rough. I'll use Ultra Ball to... Or Ultra Ball oh, Guzma and Ultra Ball. Yo, camera, you, you see me. This is like, 
I am about 9 out of 10 chances of losing this now. Because he has it. prominence now. So I need to... Ooh. Yeah, this is really bad. All right, I guess the weakness doesn't really help me here. No, it's prominence that I'm worried about. Oh, yeah, true. Feel all damage from all of your Pokemon. I can't one-shot anything. Um, Let me stop hoarding all the dice to the side of the table where I can't reach them. You're gonna broke it. Um, I guess I should. That's probably it. Might as well right. just search like a. Actually, do you want a Brooklet though? Could grab. You could try to like find a Gardevoir for the bench, I suppose. You do have like all of your liabilities in place. So maybe you don't want to get Mudkip. Yeah, there's two worlds in deck, so that's. Yeah, you can just jack check. You still have the power Drew either. I have not. I actually used my Judge. So there's no bricking you anymore now. I think about it. That is bad. No, the question is. Oh. Well, I'll do that. Yep. This deck does not have a GX tack that it wants to use. A secret then, spring? Yep. That's terrible. Uh, and then? Do you have choice pan on that? No? I do now. Well, okay. Uh, and then... Things are falling apart. Okay. Do you want a power draw? I already did. Oh, you did? Okay. Uh, I think it's probably correct. Let's see. So... 30, 60. Choice pen is 30 more, so it's 90. 120, 150, 180. Mm. I'll attach there and then use infinite force. Yeah, I don't know if I can win this game. We might have to go to game two pretty soon. Really? How can I win? You can. I have to go behind on four prizes to get <laughs> one Pokemon. No. Yeah, I guess, but let's play it out. Yeah, this is extremely I mean, we're bad. still only at, I mean, nine collective prizes, you have five, I have four. No, but my deck is meant to attack first and go ahead. Yeah, that's it. If I hit you, you heal it still. That's the thing, that's the problem. That's um, cool. So we're going to need to be petty, is what I'm going to need to do. Oh. So I put up the wrong Pokemon, honestly. Trade. Oh. Discard that, draw two. That's that rough. will help. How much energy do I don't? Uh, then I'll have to look for one. Energy does not seem to be finding my hand this game. Counter catcher the uh, Soga Alio GX. Alright. So I'm just the guards of this guard of war. Basically, I need to play the uh, runaway game from the Guard of War because I can no longer deal with that. And hope you don't have the cards you need. Let's see. I really like the look of that silver white though. Cynthia. Okay. It's from that Rayquaza collection. That's one of my biggest regrets not buying back in the day. Yeah, well, who would have thought there would have been a. Who virus? would have thought the card would have went from $5 to 50 in a week, bro? COVID Due to the 2020 pandemic, the card was five dollars for like a year, and I didn't buy it. I oh. did get so good LAO, but I would have maybe just bought one. I should have. I wanted to buy four because I obviously I plan on playing it. So yeah, that's fair. I mean, if if everyone would have known what would have, what would have happened in 2020, we would have lived our lives differently. Certainly, <clears throat> but none of us knew. Except for maybe some people, but we won't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's terrifying. Uh, hit for Ride is beating for 130. And if you have Guzma, I basically lose, but we're playing the runaway game. It's 130, so it's 2 6 1. Yep. Uh, let's use Energy Lotto. Yep. Or if you find DC for a treat, that's also probably oh. lose. Uh, Fun DC at all, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Did you find it? Yeah, what was my Okay, saying? we're gonna go to a game too. There's no route. Really? Oh, those prizes were really bad. Rescue Stretcher to get back while the discard of Pokemon. That was my last Zoroark, so. Uh, let's see. Alrighty, we're back with game two of the Sun and Moon to Lost Thunder uh, Gardevoir versus Zoro Desi Tales. 
Uh, we had a game two recorded, and I made a critical game error where I took an extra prize for no reason. So, we're going to re-record it this time. I'm on the Gardevoir side. Hopefully, I don't take any extra prizes for no reason, so... Yeah, you'll just um, do damage and take a prize. Zorark first. lost game one, so do you want to go first? Uh, sure. Yeah, he is playing Zorark this time instead of me. Okay. How did I play that? Very interesting. Uh, Molly. Yeah. I've uh, been piling all my reverses into this deck because I just want one place to put all the reverses. Okay. I'll mark them all. Okay, that way I can have decks that are just like not reverse at all. Let's see, uh, I guess I'll start with... There's two. I don't love Dragon Shield, I'm sorry if my shuffling is not the best camera. Actually, I should probably put up my prices first. I and like, take uh, do that. Before. Yeah. I like uh, the katanas. They are the best sleeve. They should sponsor this channel and send me free sleeves. That would be really sick. Uh, Ultimate Guard katanas. You should buy them. They are quite good. Dragon Shields are stinky. Don't buy them. They'll never sponsor you now. Dragon Shield won't, but I'm okay with that. Dragon Shield only sponsors like big creators usually. <clears throat> I don't know what katana sponsors. I've never heard them sponsoring a creator, to be honest. That's in Pokemon. Alright, we got a basic. Take your again. And you're going first? Yep. Going first is like always correct down in this format. Yeah. Can't think of a deck that wants to go second at all. Um, Though decks with, you know, Bullpick can't really hate to go second if they can get it out. Interesting. Um. So there's Vulture Ball, get yep. rid of Vulture Ball and Fairy Energy. And. It's been a month since I've played Pokemon now that I think about it. For the camera, this was a mere seconds away, but it's been a month since I have played Pokemon. Yeah. I know. Shame. My fault, literally. Uh, my fault too. I'm busy as hell. Uh, we'll go get Tefloyla GX, and then just bench it and use Wonder Tag for Professor M's lecture. Yep. And then I will discard it and go find myself some basics or... Yeah. 60 yeah, HP a, or less. But yeah, that's barely, basic, barely yeah. stage one, so it's 60 HP. No, basics. Um, right. It is basic, right? Or is it just Pokemon? It's, it's just, not po just Pokemon. Huh. Oh, that's right, I use it in the Doug Trio deck on PTGO. That's right, because it can search a little in Doug Trio. Fun fact. You can search uh, Skip Bloom, I believe, but that doesn't, deck doesn't play it. Yeah. Well, I think... I guess maybe standard list back in the day might have just get off of No, I don't think it does, if I remember correctly. I remember primetime Pokemon. You play like pure consistency in your uh, Lost March deck. I'm excited to build that too. Yeah, that it's a cool fun. deck. It's not like top tier, but it is cool. A lot of the decks in Sun Moon to Lost on Earth, they're not top tier, but they're very cool. Yeah. Lots of spread, lots of control and stall, um, lots of like different win conditions, and lots of Zoroark. And let's go. Let's pitch that one. Yep. And then I will pass. Alrighty. Draw for turn. That's not a bad top deck. Gonna Elm, similarly. Hey, yeah, that's my line. Four Ralts. And. Ralts. <laughs> and. Voltix. Yeah. Actually, I'm not gonna shovel because we're just going to. Bench all of these. Throw your supporters. Attach and retreat. <laughs> I'm, I'm not playing 2010. Sorry. Right. I'm not playing 2010. <laughs> I'm not playing 2010. One of those over there. Yeah. And then uh, beacon for. Two Pokemon. Yeah, the question is which ones. I think we will get Gardevoir. Oh, my hand. No, I have Gardevoir. No reason to get Gardevoir though. Swampert, and I think we will get Lele. Alright. <clears throat> uh, instead of Swampert, we'll get Ninetales. That's a safer pick. Yeah. I think the last time I recorded this video, I still had proxies in one of these decks. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Which one was it? I don't remember. I think it was this one. Uh. Now this deck is finished. It's been like that way for like a month. <laughs> More than that, honestly, because when I recorded that video, it was probably middle of September, honestly. Yeah, that's alright though. 
Whatever. It's now uh, November 10th. No, it's, it's like November 12th. Well, November 12th. 12th. Oh, God. Alrighty. Yep. Alright, so I drew for turn. I will do similar, similarly to what you did because my hand's kind of dead. I'll attach there and retreat. And beacon. And beacon. I will use the beacon. Alrighty, bacon. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm just going to do that while you search so I know my options. I'm going to play Timer Ball from my hand. What do you search? Uh, Zorar GX and Timer GX. Gotcha. One heads. Yep. Grabbing Swampert. I thought you were to grab Swampert. No, I switched out for Nine Tails. Putting it to hand. I am going to go back in the deck so I'm not worried about that. And we're going to. Um. This is a tough one because I gotta sequence this right. You have to do that. Yeah. We're going to go in. Searching out two items being rare candy and rare candy. Right. As you do. That is uh, pretty good. I would really like to get the Celestial Storm rare candy for every single one of my Sunlot decks. That is a goal eventually. Yeah. I'd much prefer them to this rare candy. Yeah, whatever. These yeah. ones will go in PRCGRI when I get more of that done. That format's gotten expensive though because of DLC raising the price of cards. Yeah. Uh, rare candy into Swampert. Rare candy into Gardevoir. Yep. And then I'm going to power draw away Ultra Ball for three cards off the top. Alright. Cool. Like almost what I want. Just whiffed it a little bit. If I would have found a, let's call it a piece there that would have worked well. And I'm not supported yet though, so that is an option. True. So we will rock you. Yo. Indeed. About to get copyright stripped. The thing I really like that I don't like that I drew into was a super boost. Uh, <laughs> I'm one stage too short of making it work. Uh, I see. Um, but it is very potent. We are going to Lele. Yep. And search my deck for Cynthia. Okay. I wanted to do Guzma this turn and hit, right. but... I definitely can see that happening. Yep. And it's still not impossible if I were to draw double colorless and then, like, two fairies and another way to get Gardevoir into play. Yeah. I mean, I don't even shuffle my deck. I'm just going to put my hand into my deck so I'm going to... Don't want to play any of these down because I might bench just full, so we will just. I don't want to play the super boost, I don't think. That's not correct. Because yeah. I think your deck is an hand tamer. Probably does. A lot of decks do to counter Zoroark. <clears throat> that Shuckle deck that was really cool to watch. Uh, Shuckle GX with the uh, hand tamer. Oh uh, man, that's. I. It's it's kind of annoying. For, at least just Shuckle GX on itself is kind of annoying. It's not too bad when you're not playing a deck like, you know, Volcarona and a commander that literally only attaches one, you know? Yeah. But in some lot, obviously it's very... It's literally like, its job is just to kill Zoroark and that, just to beat Zoroark matchups and that's it. Like, it's yeah. built specifically for that. So, I'm going to reorganize the bench. Cynthia was played to draw six. Spread out a little bit. Did not find what we were looking for, but that's yeah. something. We're going to attach to Gardevoir on the bench okay. with Secret Spring. Yep. And then we will pass. Oh, that's that's fine. It's not uh, too bad. I guess I should have attached Choice Band because you could judge me, but that's fine. I have Swampert in play, so I'm not really that afraid. Yeah. To judge. Swampert is very strong with that power draw ability long just to draw cards whenever. And that's a, like trade, but better. Wish this deck had switch in it though, because I would have gone for switch there instead of the second rare candy. What? If this deck had switch. Oh yeah. But it does not. So my uh, Alola Nine Tails is stuck. If I would have gotten the second energy off of that too, I could have actually Secret Spring attach and hit with that. But I don't think that's the right move. Yeah, it's definitely better to use. I mean, this card is not bad, but it's not good against Zoroark. It's good against Ultra Beasts yeah. um, and against like Malamar decks. Because you can actually, the spread actually can mean something long term, where 70 30 is not doing. I mean, there is some scenarios where it will do stuff, but 
Um, I'm going to trade away Vulpix yeah. to... I kind of regret benching Ditto, honestly. Though I think I just started it, never mind. Can't regret benching something I didn't bench. Yeah. Um. I will. Let's see. I'm not enough of a lot of waste. I can't have those yet. You want to waste everything? Nah. Throw your cards away. <laughs> Resource <laughs> management to the wind. Uh, I'll use Switch. Yep. Love those nine tails that I got in Japanese. Sad I can't find any more right now. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. I don't want to sequence this. Um, I guess I'll just use Judge. Yep. God, I, get, I did have Judge. <laughs> I should have attached the band. That's, That's alright. That's whatever. You'll do. I think, I don't think your deck plays Field Blower. Field Blower is like kind of a placebo card even in this format. Yeah, yeah, it's there's like, not there's no Garbodor around, so like, yeah, yeah, playing it is kind of whatever. Right. Um, yeah, people did play it in some decks, um, but like, people that like, despite the fact that Shrine is like so good, like, look at how sh good Shrine right. would be against either of these boards. Exactly. People don't play Shrine in a lot of their decks, um, because like it's just not, or they don't play counters to Shrine rather, because it's just like, what's the point, you know? Yeah. They're gonna run four shrines. They're gonna win eventually anyway in the stadium war. So, yeah. so our decks will run like their two stadiums. That's good. That's it. Yeah. Is that your first trade? That's second trade. Gotcha. So, um, that's not it. Uh, we'll also, uh, I will feather arrow on the Gardevoir. You stole the dice bag again. Oh, it's over here. Indeed, it is. This guy only like fifty. Uh, yep, so right is beating for 100. Yep, right is beating for 100 on the field. Big number. Draw for turn. Going to power <coughs> draw away full picks for three off the top. Oh, dokey. Those were three pretty good cards. That's good. Yep, I'm not out of the game. Not yet. Um, attach for turn, DC. Okay. And Secret Spring. Okay. Two Gardevoir. Currently, I have four energy, so I'm hitting 120 on my own. I am just short of the KO, I think, on the. I think so. Uh, yeah. Active, if I were to be able to get into that. Yeah. Um. So it makes me wonder what's the best play here. I don't know. Depends on your hand. Yeah, my hand isn't. Like, my hand's good, but not great. I am short. I could just take a free prize and just let you hit into me, but that doesn't feel good either. Um, so we're going to Lily for two. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Max Potion to heal. Full yeah. picks, discard all energy, but there is none. And we will pass on that. Okay. So I bought myself a turn. Yeah. Uh, I will trade away lecture. I was looking for a candy, but that, that'll do. Trade away another lecture. Yep. Hey, you know what? Get rid of them now. You don't need them anymore. Yeah. They're, I don't uh, think that deck played Rescue Stretcher, so you're not worried about getting them back even. It does. I have one in my hand. Well, I mean, might play one. Rescue Stretcher wasn't that heavy in this format, to be honest, despite how good it is. A lot of decks just didn't play it. And now I need to cut out the audio. <laughs> Okay! Man, I hate editing. <laughs> Rip audio mode, that's what yeah. you're um, so That also doxed me at the same time. Well, yeah. <laughs> Dang, I hate editing. Well, so. uh, well, now I have to make another audio cut. I will stop talking. <laughs> yeah, <I'll laughs> it's a good idea. I'll feather arrow the guard of war again. Yep, 240. And then use right as beating. For 100. Yep. No bands or anything? Nah, my hand is kind of... Not very good right now. Like going two. to power draw. Weigh that for three off the top. I was about to say, we're putting that in play and discard again? Yeah, bro. That'd be kind of. I bro. can't use the effect of it though, even. <laughs> so, um, my board is like set up for field, though. I wish this wasn't in play, but I had to use it because I didn't have a supporter. Um, so I'm currently doing 120. So, we can do that. Secret Spring and Attach Return to Gardevoir. Okay. So that is now 
Seven energy on Gardevoir. Indeed. And I'm going to attach Choice Band uh, to Gardevoir. Oh, get behind. It's a bit of a pile. Yeah. Um, Curlia into play. Okay. Guzma up the Decidueye on the bench. Okay. Get there. And then I'm going to take Knockout with Infinite Force for 240 damage with 7 energy and a choice band. Nice. So, Guzma, this is not 2010. Taking two prizes. Going down to four prizes. Alright. Gardevoir is quickly becoming scary. It now one hit KOs everything on his side of the field. Uh, trade away another lecture. Um, let's see, what is my this card looking like? One, two, three, four, okay. <clears throat> let's see. I have bad eyesight. True. I cannot see. You can't see, though. I'm not blind, but I do certainly have bad eyesight. Uh, I will trade away Decidueye. Yep. Rip. I can get it back. I was planning on just doing it. Fair enough. Rescue Stretcher. For Decidueye? Decidueye. Decidueye. That one. Fair enough. I'll put that on. And then, uh, let's see. I'm going to shuffle my deck. Don't worry. Yep. Choice Band. Yep. Uh, not much else I really want to do. Um, actually, I have it. Let's see. That's Cynthia. Yep. Cynthia, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw six. Six is a pretty good number. That's a lot of cards. True. I sure hope that he finds a card that is good. I think I will. I should at this point. I mean, yeah, your deck's pretty thinned out of, like, uh, garbage, so you should find at least some good cards. Yeah. Because you trade away all the stuff you didn't need. I like that about this format. There's a lot of, like, trading and power drawing away cards I don't need. I like that there's like an objectively better trade though on a stage two. I do like that. Yeah. So like except the option of playing Swampert plus nine tails actually makes stage two's good. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. True. But give me your best shot, yeah. Um. You have the cool regional promo. I have three reverses and one regional promo in here. Nice. Yeah. How much energy do you have on that? Like, one, two, three. Seven. <laughs> that is a lot of energy. Have you ran into E hammers yet? Nah. That's a dang shame. Shame I didn't get rare candy. I could have taken a knockout this turn. How would that be? I would retreat into Tapu Lele. Ah, I do. I do. Yeah, Tapu Lele is scary, but I think it was worth attaching this much energy and taking the KO on Desi. Because Desi was just threatening my entire board. Yeah. I did not draw into anything extremely good, though, so. I mean, worst case scenario, you can sit behind a Rowlet and hope I don't have Gust, but that's also kind of like... That's kind of a risk. Yeah, you so, might as well just hit in at that point. Take the knockout next turn and hope I can't set up another. So I guess I'll just use Rite of Speeding for what? 130. So yeah. 170 total? Yeah. Plus 4, so yeah, 170. Shame. Probably gonna end up losing, but it's yeah, it's it looks like I'm getting the upper hand here. If really you get quickly. another, if you get like another guard of out, that's probably the game. But we'll gonna power draw. We'll play it out for the crowd. Yeah, we'll play it out. Oh yeah, this is Bro. not good for you. Uh, I have to look the shame. I won't. I'll play yeah. it out still. So let's see what happens. Oh uh, no. Yeah, that's that's a little scary. I imagine. Just a little. <laughs> Just a tad <laughs> bit. <laughs> Um, and we'll just take infinite force knockout on the active for like 300 damage. Not a lot of damage. Yeah. In the original game I played versus this, I had an overwhelming lead on Gardevoir, but that's not happening this game. When I play Zoro, I end, I end up winning, but Zoro kind of has to like outspeed Gardevoir. Uh, I'm going to trade away Timer Ball. Yep. Um, uh. Do not be the time for Timer Ball. That's a shame. Why can't I count that last turn? Um, Rip. Yeah, um, let's see. If I had evolved this into Curly, I would. I could in fact have two Gardevoirs in play last turn, but 
I thought it was safer just to evolve this so I can save this for like another like March Tom or something. Um, I don't even remember if this deck plays March Tom. <laughs> I think it has one. Maybe one, I don't, I don't remember. I mean, you just usually get the stage two, but like it's nice to have the stage one option if you get like item lock or something. I don't remember if it is. This is Mallow. Is there even item lock in some lot? I can't think of any. Uh, no, I don't think so. I can't think of any item lock. Um, no Trevenant XY shenanigans around here. Yeah. Though there is obviously item punish by Garbodor, so yeah. Garbodor is not that popular in this format though, now that his partner in crime, other Garbodor, rotated. Cause that, that one uh, 2018 World of America it was a Garbodor Zoroark deck. This is my hand crew. Yeah, that's my hand crew. Yep. My, my board is kind of a mess. Oh, it yeah, does go on top. As do we are. I think mine's more of a mess because I have, like, everything slapped everywhere. Yours is nice and orderly. <laughs> yeah. I'll just attach there and use yep. right as beating, but... Uh, it does take a knockout. Yeah. I Goodbye, think... my sum of energy. Yeah. Oh, those are, those are kind of good prizes. I'll take these. Then... How many energy would I need to KO? Or seven, so I do just leave a habit. No, I don't have a stage two in play. Yeah. Super boost is not active. Indeed, indeed. So I do need another stage two, and it's not actually possible to get this turn. So oh, I'm still in it. I'm looks potentially like it. Okay. We'll promote. There's still a chance I can get it. Yeah, there, time, you can. You can definitely still get it, but super boost isn't helping that. Yeah. Um, power draw away, elm. Okay. Rip elm. Four three. He's done his job. I drew into two more elms. No, oh. not two more elms. <laughs> One elm and two ultra balls. Ouch. Well, ultra balls not. You can get rid of it. Ultra Ball away, Ultra Ball and Elm. That was my three that I drew. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, you go. I got something. Okay, checking out the deck. No reason not to get a... I don't think you see that. Cosmog. Oh, Cosmog. Do I get that? No. No, we set up a two front war. What we're going to do is get a Marsh Tom and evolve that. Okay. Fair enough, yeah. By doing this camera, I now set up a two-front war, where if he wants to keep my stage two that of play, he cannot both keep Marsh Tom and uh, a, another basic from evolving. Yeah. Because I now set up two different routes to have a stage two in play next turn. Yeah. We will put down... Ralts, I imagine. I mean, I could put Robin Ralts or I could put down Mudkip, but I think Ralts is better. Yeah. At this point. Um. Let's see here. I can, I can attach for turn, and there's no reason not to do that to help with Enhanced Hammer. If that were to come down. There's actually a really nice curly that doesn't see a lot of play in this format from Lost Thunder. Koki Saito artwork. I really like that one. Um, and we will just pass on that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to trade away. Yep. Counter game. Another Zoroark is in play. Trade away Volpix. I did not see myself walk into that trap though, where I did not have a third stage two in play. But then again, I started Ditto, so. Yeah. Decidueyes. Oh my goodness, there they are. Higher oh. back. So you can actually get a KO on Swampert this turn. Uh, yeah. With the damage buffs. So, rough. Rough buff. Rough, rough. Um, Dog sounds. Let's see. I will get the feather arrows ready. I think I kind of have to pick them on Swamp Herd right now. You want to stop me from getting stage twos, yeah? Uh, yeah, I'll just pick them on active. Um, I don't know if there's a route even for you, but play it out, right? Yeah, and then right is beating for knockout. Rip Swamp Dog. I think my um, I gotta promote first. I'm just going to say I'd probably find it this turn. We will Rare Candy into Gardevoir and evolve this. Uh, Power Draw away the Mudkip for three off the top. Those were probably the three worst cards in the deck to find, honestly. <laughs> Two of them are ones I just discard. <laughs> sure. I had the option. Um, so currently, is my Super Boost active? It is active. So I do have the KO here because I'm doing uh, 
240 with 8 energies and oh, on yeah, both active. You have 3 plus yep. so that's 4, so, so that's game. That will be game. So it unexpectedly like... almost ended up uh, losing myself. Oh, the there's the hand hammer. Ah, uh, <laughs> yikes. Yeah. I do plan on changing that Zorak list up a bit. I don't love it. It's very teched out, but not in the right ways, I don't think. Yeah. Um, a card I saw that I was going to put in there is Olivia. I don't have any oh, regular yeah, think, copies. Yeah. I think, yeah. You it searches that. out two GXs, allowing you to just, like, piece together rare candy combos, and Zorak's really easy. Right. Um, and, it really, and also just Nine Tails too. Like, searching out, like, Nine Tails or a Lele for next turn, it can't yeah. hurt, you know? Right. Um, Definitely options. But yeah, that was our Sun and Moon 2 Lost Thunder. Zoro Desitales first is Gardevoir. Gardevoir is a little bit favored in this matchup, as you can clearly tell. It just kind of bulldozes if it gets set up. Yeah. So it kind of does that against every deck, to be honest, not just Zoroar, but Yeah. Uh, Zoroar just happens to have pretty low HP and uh, has to two-hit KO Gardevoir, unlike things like Blacephalon, yeah. which can one-hit KO. But hey, that's sometimes the game. Thank you all so much for watching, though. Do like my tabletop content, check out my other tabletop videos, and I do expanded deck profiles, so check those out too. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.